Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Bulkham. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint red leather strapping on weapons grips. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now onto the video. Right, so the first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Corn Red. And this is just to go over all of the leather strapping on the grip. I thought I'd use this Custodes chap because I was painting him anyway. And it also has a nice long section of the grip here that you can see quite clearly what's going on provided I keep it within the lens of the camera. So we want to give all of this a nice coat of corn red, and we can move on to the next colour. Next, we're going to use Citadel Karoberg Crimson Shade, and just give it a coat of that. That'll give you that nice dark red in the recesses. and allow you to keep that there while you're painting and highlighting the leather strapping. So that'll give you a nice shade of colour. So next we're going to use some corn red, just slightly off camera there, and all we're going to be doing is these little bits when you're looking at it from the side, you have a little concave section for each strap, so you want to be painting the top and the bottom of that, leaving a tiny little bit of shade in the centre of the strap, as well as the shade in the recess between the straps. So if you imagine each strap there is going sort of up and over, almost like a rainbow shape, the very top of the rainbow you will be painting with corn red, and the bottom you'll be painting with corn red, then you would have that Caroberg crimson shade in the centre. You can see the thinner lines which is between the straps, which is detailed on there too. So you just want to carry on doing this all the way up to the top of the grip. And once that's done, we can move on to the next colour. So now we're going to be using some Citadel Wasdaka Red. This clip is slightly shorter than I'd like because I managed to get so much of it off camera. It's a bit frustrating, but you can see exactly what I'm doing here. I'm using, I think it's a Army Painter Insane Detail brush to do this because you've got that slightly thinner one than the Wargamer character brush which I usually use. And on this you want to be doing a thinner line where the corn red was. So you're covering about 50% of the area of the corn red with this layer. So at the end you'll have lines of corn red and wasdaka red and the recesses with the Caroberg crimson on. So a bit of a skip there, you can see me doing the thinner highlights working those towards the front. And the final highlight colour you want to use is Citadel Pink Horror. And we're just going to be doing the very crest of each of those kind of rainbow shapes on the side there. The very top of them. And then also the front and back where you've got those almost like V shapes. Where the straps are kind of plaited together. A bit too thick there unfortunately. But you get the idea. Nice thin lines is what you're aiming for. When you're working on the front here, you just want to be doing the very top of almost like the end of it. So you can see where I'm highlighting here is where those bits are plaited together. If you just go up and do the top one of each of those, and do the top ones on the opposite side too, and that gets those standing out really, really nicely and makes the front of that grip look really, really cool. Like so.
So you'll find this on a lot of different weapons. It's quite useful for Space Marine characters and things like that tend to have it. You'll also find it on the Stormcast, on the Custodies, and I'm sure there is numerous other miniatures that you'll be able to use this on. But it's a very, very cool technique, very simple to do, a very easy one to master, but it just gives them that little detail that stands out when on the tabletop. Now you can see the finished grip on his Vexilla there. It really does add a nice little detail to it. For the effort you put in, it really does look absolutely superb. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content, please consider supporting us through our coffee and Patreon pages linked below. Thanks very much.